thank you to the HRC uh, for all the hard work you're doing. Uh, you are at the coalface. Um, I do have a new special in. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. It's on, it's on Netflix, so I wouldn't <laughs> blame you if you're not a subscriber. Um, <laughs> ooh, okay. <laughs> all right, it's fine. Um, they've already paid. I. <laughs> the reviews are in. Um, ra rave, but also mixed. <laughs> uh, it's, it's okay. I've had actual bad stuff happen to me, so I'm fine. But I, I want to. I want to talk about one review I've received in particular. Uh, I won't mention the publication because it's the Wall Street Journal and it's boring. <laughs> But at the beginning of the review, the reviewer, straight white cis man, funnily enough, uh, said that Gadsby talks about family and marriage in their unfortunately feel-good special. He was angry that I wasn't angry. He thought I should be full of rage and my work should be informed by that rage. He thought that I should be angry because my community is under attack. And I am angry. And we are under attack. We have a fight on our hands. And what is at stake isn't our community. It's not our existence, sorry. It's not our existence. The fact that we exist is not at stake because we do exist. We will always exist because we always have existed. <laughs> That is just the way of things. What they want to destroy is our community. The community we fought so hard to make visible, to rightfully celebrate. They're trying to tear us apart. They're trying to divide us and we cannot allow that to happen. Because our community is where we find our safety and our joy. We've been marginalised, but unlike other groups who are pushed into the margins, the queer community also exists on the grand central intersection of human life. We inhabit all bodies, all abil abilities, all the skins, all the nations on earth. We are all the generations, genders. We exist across all classes. You will find us under every economic circumstance. We number amongst the most vulnerable and the most powerful, often one and the same. The full spectrum of experience, there we are. But there is no real safety in numbers. We know this because the majority rule has put us in the margins. There is only safety in community. The ways in which our community is under attack goes beyond laws and bills. Because what is happening to us through these efforts is nothing short of traumatic. It is structural, cultural violence. When your body is being policed and limited, when your expression is being denied, your sense of safety is being eroded. And what is life lived without safety? It is a life lived in trauma. But this trauma is not being shared equally amongst us. The most vulnerable in our community are shouldering the biggest burden. This imbalance will only help those who seek to oppress us. There is something, you see, that cannot be experienced when you're swimming against the riptide of trauma. And that is joy. All of us deserve to feel joy in our lives. All of us, without exception. <laughs> Joy might only ever be experienced as a fleeting moment, but it is the secret source of life. Joy is not a performance. It is not an occasion. It is not a month of corporate sponsorship. It does not require a Bud Light endorsement. 
Joy is not power, it is not money, it is not winning. Joy does not live on a social media feed. Joy can not be seen. It can only be felt here in our bodies. When we feel safe. And don't let the white ladies of yoga fool you. You cannot manifest joy in a shitstorm. First, you need safety and you need community. And that's what we need to strive for. Safety for all of us, for each of us, without exception. Because that's how we get to fight this war on our own terms. Let's turn our pride into a shield and make joy our ammunition. <laughs>